Strike out Taylor. Taylor to left center towards the gap. Then attendee will turn. That's going to travel and go. Home run, Michael A. Taylor. A two out shot, and the Twins take a 3 2 lead. Well, you mentioned the curveball had been his best pitch this year so far, his biggest swing and miss pitch. This was a, a curveball to Taylor and hit it almost identical spot that Buxton hit it and continues to be plagued by the home run ball. And this ball, middle away, but he got extended on it. He's strong enough that he stayed through this ball. Two strikes to Taylor. And a deep drive to center field. Judge going back. That ball is gone. Michael A. Taylor with his second of the year. And the Twins have put up a seven spot in the first inning. Michael A. Taylor with his second home run of the season. And gave that ball a good ride to straightaway center field for a two run bomb. Looking for that ball just a little bit more elevated than that with two strikes. Down. Taylor was able to put a good swing on it. Now to right and deep. Calhoun back and that's gone. Taylor with another home run to the opposite field. And it's 11 to nothing. And the third inning starts with back to back extra base hits. And two hit. more for the Twins. It's a great piece of hitting from Michael A. Taylor. You know, 102 miles an hour exit beat off the bat for his second home run of the game. Second two run shot. And he knew that one was gone. I don't think he knew the first one straight away center field whether it was going to get out or not. High fly to deep center field. Robles will watch it leave. A pair of solo home runs here in the fourth, and the Twins take the lead. 109 and a half miles an hour off the bat. That ball was hammered. That's a second straight at bat. Michael Taylor has squared it up. One just went on the ground with the bases loaded last time, but this did not go on the ground until it was in the bullpen. A bullet to center. Taylor dives and makes another great catch. You don't like losing Max Kepler and Nick Gordon has made a great play out there in center field as well with Michael A. Taylor and his gold glove defense needed on the first two outs of the eighth. Yeah, backed him up a little bit with this swing. Hard to tell the type of contact that ball hit right at him in front but was able to recover a half a step of hesitation. He has elite speed and is able to track that ball down. A high fly to left center the field and deep. And gone. A two run home run. And the hits just keep on coming. A lot of Cubby Blue heading to the exit right now. You, know, you bring in a position player, you hope he's going to save your bullpen. But it's kind of what you don't want to see if you're David Ross is nobody missing a barrel. This ball is hit about as high as it was far. And look back at the end of the year, they'll count on the back of the card just the same. A couple of seven run innings for the Twins in this run. Hit hard to left field. That's how you break a slump. Taylor hitting his sixth home run of the year. A big swing. This wakes this crowd back up. That ball running in off the plate. Give Taylor credit. That's a tough pitch to hit. He just pulled his hands in and got the barrel to it. Nice catch by the fan on the end. A couple times where they could have added on some runs late. Drive to left and deep. And go. Michael A. Taylor with his seventh of the year. And the Twins take a two to one lead. Good swing by Michael A. Taylor. Bottom of the lineup did a lot of damage yesterday against the Houston Astros. And here, Michael A. Taylor in that eight hole, showing some pop in his bat. First pitch to left off the bat of Michael A. Taylor, and he crushes one deep into the seats and left. Pache delivering his first pitch. And Taylor delivering his eighth home run. This ball 108 off the bat. <laughs> he absolutely crushed this ball. This belt high right there, and he knew it immediately. Driven to left, deep to left, and gone. Michael A. Taylor with a two run rocket to left. He got himself a one two slider and had a, a good swing at one earlier in the at bat. Kikuchi. Knew that he missed the spot and got away with it and went back in almost the identical location. That ball was loud coming off. High fly, center field. That ball's hit well. Weimer back. Gone, a home run for Michael A. Taylor. And it's a one run ball game. That'd be two home runs given up now. That one on a fastball right over the plate. And he's been swinging a hot bat. 
My punt when you can go deep all the way straight away center. Four seam fastball belted for his 10th home run of the year. One more than he hit all of 2022. They throw the ball to first, they throw it to second. Drive to the gap, right center field. Taylor will try to cut it off. And he'll turn and fire. Here comes the throw. It is on target and he is out. A perfect one hop throw from Michael A. Taylor in center field. Well, we've seen this from the Red Sox throughout the series. Running the bases aggressively. That's to left center field. Taylor cutting over to the gap. Leaping and making a great tumbling catch in left center field. He made catches like that for the Royals for a couple of years. He's just made one against the Royals. Well, he's had some highlight catches this year. Man, he had to go a long way to get that ball. Slicing away from him off the bat. Never gets old watching him make catches like that. Look at that. Well, he's got that gold on his glove. He's 1 1. Wouldn't be surprised to see him win another one. He gets this ball towards center field. Michael A. Taylor coming in. Long run dives and makes the catch. A great play by Taylor to start the game. Ooh, you talk about that range, excellent timing on the dive, and that's exactly why you have a Gold Glover as a quote unquote backup in center field. And he's been outstanding since 2021. A deep drive to left. That ball is smoked halfway up the seats in left center field. A two run home run for Michael A. Taylor, and the Twins had two more in the third. Mixed in the bunt hit his last at bat, <laughs> and then he hit this one 107. What a swing. You can tell by the sound. High fly to left field. Way back. And gone. Michael A. Taylor brings the Twins back to within two. On the bench all night long, put into the game for defense, and he provides some offense. He had a great rip and a fastball earlier and fouled it back, and then he got it sliding the state right in the zone there for him, and he put a charge in it. What a nice at bat that one. I think this is an important run to get, get in here. And it'll come in, all right, deep to left field. Into the third deck, Michael Taylor green lighted, and it's another two run home run. Great green light call there. And you actually halfway called it, Dick, with the left hander coming up next. That's what I was getting at. Big run to get in with this hitter, Ray Taylor. Not only did not miss it, he crushed it. Ooh. High fly to right. McCarthy's back at the wall. It's gone to the opposite field. Michael A. Taylor gives the Twins the lead. Stone there, wall scraper. This one kind of got beat on that. To the gap, left center field. What a catch by Michael A. Taylor. A run will come home, but an out. And it took a great play by Taylor to get it. That ball was smoked into the gap, tailing away from Michael A. Taylor. Watch how far he has to go to get this ball. The whole time he's trying to chase that thing down, it's getting further and further away from him. Taylor putting on a show in center field. Michael A. Taylor with two sensational grabs in the fourth inning. Two and two to center. Taylor diving catch in the gap again. Same play he made last night. But in a bigger spot. Well, another really nice catch in a much, much bigger spot right here. Much closer game. But Michael A. Taylor, it doesn't matter to him. Doesn't matter what the score is. He's going to go get it. The type of situation with 15 home runs on the air where we've seen Michael Taylor pop one and kind of wake everybody up. He, he's had some big homers. He's had some moments this year with the bat. A high fly to left field. Back and deep. And gone. Taylor has done it again. 
Right on cue. I think we got to count that as a call. That was about half a call, but I'll tell you. That's that big swing that he's closing in on 20 home runs. What a pickup he's been. The defense he's played in center field, but his fair share of big hits. He got himself a changeup. Michael A. Taylor has been a good number nine hitter than Taylor 39. A high fly deep to left. Retreating is Yelich at the wall and can make the play. It's a home run. Michael A. Taylor with a high fly just over the wall and left. And the Twins get another big hit with two out. Homer number 17. It never gets old when you get that type of production from your number nine batter. A high fly left field. Jankowski's back at the wall. Gone. Michael A. Taylor has another one, his 18th of the season. And it's 4 to 2. Another moonshot. That was a 40.5 degree launch angle. He did that in Milwaukee yesterday. 3 2. Little middle, middle changeup. He's one off his career high at home runs. Here's Michael A. Taylor leading off first pitch, swinging. It's at high in the air, center field. Get up, get up. Got it here. A two homer night for Michael A. Taylor and the Twins trail five to three. Boy, Taylor, he left the batter's box, set his bat down, knowing he got it. And that ties Taylor's career high homers with 19. 90 miles an hour, right over the heart of the plate. Knee high and Taylor upon contact, head down, began the home run trot. Runner goes, Quan takes off. And the ball punched into short center field. Diving catch. He covered a lot of ground to get there and still had to make a dive at the end. Michael A. Taylor. Deep to right field. Only back is Brennan looking up. That ball is gone. Number 20 for Michael A. Taylor. And it's a 4-2 ball game. One pitch after Jimenez turns in a sparkler. Just the third home run allowed by Classe this year. Bring the infield in. And a high fly to center. Taylor going back. On the warning track at the wall. Got he it. got it. Took a home run away from Benson. A run will score. But Michael A. Taylor, 404 feet. He had a beat on that ball the entire time. Gathered himself, found the wall. So he had to make a heck of a play. Tire Benson. A oh. deep drive to left. Michael Taylor hits a bomb. <laughs> wow. Over the bleachers and left on the concourse. You see him go up there every once in a while, but that's not common. That ball was absolutely crushed. He didn't get it in, and he got those hands inside the ball and extended enough where he was able to just put the barrel on it. Look at that thing go. And it was on a line. Usually for a ball to travel that far, it's, it's high. And they measured at 468 feet. But that was a line drive that traveled 468 feet. Fly ball, left center. And that is going to be caught by a diving Taylor. An outstanding center fielder. And he flashes the leather there for out number two. Michael flashes of Kirby Puckett, Torrey Hunter, and now Michael Taylor. Another Gold Glove winner with a superb jump, catch, and landing. Chapman lost one deep to right center. Going back, Taylor on the track at the wall. He makes the catch. He made the catch. He saved two runs and took an extra base hit away from Chapman. The Gold Glover again. Another play, a Gold Glove play. A game, perhaps, saving play for Michael Taylor.